what's up guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel um so i'm currently getting ready because today is anthony and i's one year anniversary of being married that is crazy for me to think about because i feel like he literally just proposed like yesterday so yeah we've officially been together for one year for those that don't know we've been together for 10 years but this is our one year marital anniversary or whatever so right now i'm getting ready because anthony is working and unfortunately just because it is our one year anniversary doesn't mean that he gets to take off work so yeah so he's at work and another thing is that it's all the way in louisville louisville is like an hour away from me but i wanted to go see him because he's working extra late tonight so He's not gonna get home until probably like after eight which elias goes to sleep um usually around eight so i want him to be able to see elias it sucks that he's been working so much i mean he's making good money which is obviously amazing because we're in the process of saving for a house like we're literally living like we're broke so that way hopefully here in the next little bit we'll be able to like put a down payment on a house and we'll actually be able to move and get into like our home home um or start building or start like taking that route but um because he's been working so much he hasn't really been able to see elias too too much like he sees them at sees him at nighttime but he doesn't get like the happy elias that you know is like filled with energy and just like you know being a kid i just started using this rare beauty foundation and honestly I love it. It came in my boxy charm, so the color is like a little bit off. Um, but by the time I finish concealer and like all that kind of stuff, then it usually like balances out. But I also really like it because since it has like a peachy pink undertone or whatever, it really helps with my redness. Um, I know peaches usually help with like darkness and stuff, but I feel like it kind of blends my redness a little bit more, if that makes sense. And it also helps with my under eyes because my under eyes are dark because your girl has not gotten a full night's rest in nine months. So, um, yeah, that's great. I feel like the color of this like really makes my skin look good and like the formula of this, like it... I'm a, I'm a type of person that I have acne prone skin um, and my skin is very textured so a lot of times whenever I put on like a full coverage foundation and stuff it really like enhances my texture and makes my face like extremely like cakey and just not good and I have yet to find a foundation that has the coverage that I want without the cakiness. You know what i mean like i need something hydrating especially now um after having elias my skin is really dry so um i don't know i just feel like this foundation is so nice on my skin and it makes me feel like very like airbrushed and i don't know i don't know why i've never tried this i feel like the only time that i like try makeup is whenever it comes in my boxy charm because i just don't go out and buy stuff anymore like i used to work at uh, Ulta so anytime anything like new would come out you know obviously I'd be like swipe you're coming home with me but now I'm a stay-at-home mom so I literally oh my god did my voice just crack I just don't go out and buy it you know what I mean I low-key need to hurry because I'm supposed to be leaving here by 11 o'clock there's so many people walking out right now um, I'm supposed to leave by 11 o'clock and it's currently 10 10 already um, and I, like, Elias is taking a nap, so I still have to get his stuff ready. I mean, we're just going to eat, so, like, I don't have to, like, really do much, but y'all, if y'all are moms, y'all know how it is getting out of the house with an infant, okay? Like, it's literally, like, a whole process. Like, there's so many times that I'm, like, do I really need to leave the house? Like, there's times that I really want to get out, but, like realistically it's gonna take me longer to get out of the house than it will take me to run the errand i literally cannot get over how smooth my skin looks i mean maybe my eyes are just dry and they're deceiving me but like no they're not my skin looks good it looks good and that's crazy for me to say because i am like 
if you guys have been here for a while you guys know how my skin used to be and the fact that those words are coming out of my mouth i could cry right now honestly which i have been drinking a shit ton of water i bought new water bottles and my water bottle grillies y'all know that whenever you get a new water bottle you like you become obsessed you know what i mean so anytime that i feel like i'm not drinking enough water i throw away a bottle and i buy a new one so it's been working for me so what over i also need a new cream contour um because i've had this one like this one honestly i probably shouldn't be using it um i've had it for well over a year um so i probably should stop using it but like it's the only cream contour that i have because like i said i don't buy new products okay this is like a stream this ain't even a mist um well anyways okay i'm gonna finish getting ready and then yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit okay bye literally like i'm on the phone <laughs> Okay guys, so I am now ready. Um, I didn't end up having time to do my hair, but that's okay. Whatever. I'm wearing my Amazon sweatshirt, um, jeans, and then some Air Forces that my, not Air Forces, Air Maxes that my brother got me. So anyways, all right, well, let's load up the car and get going because it's literally an hour drive. So I already know what is going to sleep. So sadly, I do have to wake him up. His truck keeps going off. Um, but I do have to wake him up to put him in his car seat, but I know he's going to go right back to sleep because he doesn't like car rides, so he's just going to knock out, hopefully. So anyways, alright, let's load up the car. Guys, we were literally in that restaurant for like 15 minutes, like tops. He only has like 30 minutes um, for his lunch. And it's so weird because he's always worked for himself. Like he's literally never had to like clock in somewhere, but he's helping out this company. Um, so he actually has to clock in. So he's like not used to the whole like clocking in, having like breaks at a certain time, like having to take lunch for like a certain time and just he's just not used to it so it was i don't know we were literally in and out um so i didn't film anything other than that little bitty clip of whenever we very very first got there and we were waiting on our food but we just dropped him back off um he's back in that building back there behind me so i'm giving elias some milk really quick and then i'm gonna probably head home um yeah that's pretty much it he said that he's gonna work literally until probably about like 10 or 11 tonight so i don't even get to see him really say so, yeah kind of upset about that but anyways i'm home now it's been a while elias has already taken a nap and everything but i'm about to show you guys how to make some good old southern sweet tea okay because I love sweet tea and I hate going to restaurants and stuff and them having nasty tea. Like once tea sits out for a little bit, it gets sour and like, so anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some tea. Okay, ready, set, go. Step one, boil water. Step two is to take these little things off of the tea bags and throw in two, two tea bags for one gallon. This is the tea that I use right now Normally, um, I have Lipton, but I got this one. I don't think it really matters, but it's specially blended for iced tea. Okay, so now while that boils, I'm gonna take this pitcher, which this is a gallon-sized pitcher, um, and I just fill it up with sugar, probably like an inch or so at the bottom. I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, I literally, you get these at the dollar store. They're cheap as hell. They're like a few bucks, but anyways. 
Yeah, that's all. What's wrong, bub? What's going on? Really? You just want to be on camera? Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is about how much sugar that I put. I hope you guys can see this. I know it's a lot of sugar. I said I'm making tea. I never said healthy tea. Okay? Okay, this is southern tea. We like unhealthy shit down here, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's healthy. But anyways, now you basically just wait till that boils. And then you pour the water into here while it's still hot. And you stir it while it's still hot. That way the sugar breaks down. And then you fill the rest up with water. So you can already see like the tea, like the water turning to the tea color or whatever. So I just let this boil till it like almost boils over. I turn it off, let the bubbles go down, and then I just pour it in. you have southern sweet tea you're welcome for that free knowledge ladies and gentlemen i would like to welcome the newest member of pinnacle construction look at how cute he has his carhartt overalls his boots his drill and his pliers you ready to go to work papa huh yeah did you put on your resume that you require naps no well, stop trying to kick your shoes off, dude. Look at how cute these little boots are. His grandpa got them for him, and I think they're just the most adorable things ever. Da da. Da da. You want to go see da da? Da da. <laughs> yeah, you want to go see da da? All right, let's go. Yeah, Elias is in the back, and he keeps saying da 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 da. He knows where we're going. Um, but I am on my way to the builds. So if you're new here, hello. Um, my husband builds houses for a living. So I'm about to go and see the progress on these builds. Um, they're building two houses and there's like a retaining wall in the middle of them, I believe. And that's the last thing that I've seen. Um, so now it's like framed, they're moving sheetrock and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna go and check it out. And I dressed Elias completely in like his car heart and his boots. And I got him like, I brought like his little drill and his little, um, I didn't bring his hammer because Heidi chewed it up, but I brought basically like all his little like toy tools or whatever. So we're taking the newest member of Pinnacle Construction and he, it's his first day on the job. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't wow. mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors so the They kind of tell me what I'm thinking the way we are kitchen. and the way we That's lose the There's something different okay. about us and the reason why we stay, stay. We fly around mm. like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about us Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out 
to make oat milk and bread and I figured I would bring you guys along with me okay I literally just follow a recipe the bread I follow a recipe on Pinterest and the oat milk I follow a recipe on TikTok so literally nothing too complicated but I just wanted to show you guys because I feel like a lot of people spend so much money at the grocery store and what happened baby I wanted to bring you guys along to make some oat milk because like I was saying I feel like a lot of people spend so much money at the grocery store and my husband and I are starting to like become self-sufficient I guess like we don't like grow our, grow our own like vegetables and stuff like that so I don't even know if that's like the word for it but anything that we can make at home we've been trying to make so we started off with bread and our milk so I don't drink dairy my husband does but I can't drink dairy he's not one yet so he can't drink dairy um so I make oat milk and almond milk for the both of us. 